Hi, this is Dave Kilroy from Western Distribution. I'm going to talk you through the setup of one of Western Distribution's 5-in-1 XVR recorders. So it's an intelligent XVR which supports old-fashioned analog cameras via four VNC ports at the back of the device. It will also support AHD, so modern analog high definition cameras. It will support TVI cameras, which are Hikvision's cameras and their protocol. So Hikvision cameras will plug and play on these devices. So will Darwin's cameras uh, via the CVI protocol. And by default, the uh, four channel recorder also supports two IP channels. Uh, so it's actually a six channel recorder. And if you wanted to only have IP cameras on this device, it will actually support eight IP cameras. So four cameras using the RG59 connectors at the back of the device, BNC ports, or eight IP, or a mixture of the two. So when you first start the device, it will show you a boot up, uh, well, a, a setup wizard. I would, by default, uncheck that box so that it doesn't keep starting. If ever your customer has to reboot the device, then you don't want it asking them to change the settings. So we've unchecked that box. The next step is to enter the password to access the device settings. By default, the password is 12345. The username is admin. Once you've logged in, it asks you to change the password. Might be tempting to do this later. We recommend you do it immediately as it is a security device. The username, you can change to whatever you like. The password has to be a minimum of eight bytes or eight characters, and it has to contain at least one letter and one number. Once you've confirmed the password, it then asks you to answer some security questions, and these are important. Um, the reason for these is so that you can export an unlock key. If you don't do this, in fact, the device won't let you proceed without doing this. But my point is, if you lose the USB stick that these answers are saved on, and your customer ever forgets the password, then the device is effectively bricked. We can't reset it, and neither can the manufacturer. Um, so it's really important to save that and then export the key. So the export was successful. It's been saved to a USB stick that I've put into the front USB port on the device. There are two USB ports on this particular device, one at the back, one at the front. The one at the back I save for the mouse um, because uh, it's easy to access the USB port at the front, obviously. I use a wireless mouse, by the way, which costs less than a tenner, and it just saves that cable and means that you can use the mouse from further away. So once you've confirmed that, you need to right click this red bar at the top that will then take you to the next page if you click it anywhere else for some reason it won't progress so make sure you click the red bar at the top right click it to progress in the setup wizard so device settings these are all pretty obvious um, your language you choose record mode is set to overwrite um, so if your storage allows you to record for two weeks once it's got two weeks worth of recording, it will go back and uh, overwrite the oldest footage so that you've always got the last two weeks. Record days, no limit. Um, I don't know why you would set a limit to that, to be honest with you. Uh, video standard is PAL because we're in Europe. Standby time is how long you want the device to um, stay unlocked before it locks itself. And the device name, which if you want, you can change. The date settings, I set these manually. Um, you can also, if you like, receive from uh, the network. You can choose as well your own NTP server and change these settings to suit yourself.